It's about time to get a new doggy scratching board for my dogs. The first thing we tried was just a plastic lid, what I had around the house. And then I moved on to a piece of wood and it worked out okay, but the sandpaper didn't stick to the wood well. And plus when I held the wood in the back where the sandpaper was, it wasn't, I would get splinters. So I moved on to this flexiglass or plexiglass and the sandpaper stuck well. As you can see, I need a new one now. But this one was a little bit too flexible and when my dog scratched on it, they would actually bend it a bit. So this time I went with more plexiglass, but I got a thicker plexiglass. You can see the edges here. And actually this one is a little bit heavy, heavier than I like. Next time I think I'll get something heavier than this flexible piece, but thinner than this heavy piece. I got this at a home supply store. They'll cut it the size for you or you could buy pre-made sizes and that's what I did. This was already pre-cut and it works well for my 40 pound dogs. For my 23 pound dog, what works well for her is uh, just buy some of that linoleum that sticks on and then just get the sandpaper that's about the same size and stick it onto the back of the linoleum. This is the sandpaper that I use. It's heavy grit made for stairs. And it comes in a roll and it's sticky on the back. You just peel the backing off and stick it to your plexiglass. You just cut or tear the strips the same size as your plexiglass. Then you take the back off and you just stick it to the plexiglass. I have two pieces stuck on and I'll just keep adding until the whole board is covered. Just peel the back off and stick. Now we have a board ready for scratching. And just remember, never leave these out unattended. Some dogs enjoy it so much they might just quick themselves. <laughs> 